Hello everyone, my name is Rod Donaldson and uh, I'm, I'm going to introduce myself. This is uh, my first post on uh, our Facebook page, Donaldson Points to Adventure, uh, that my wife has created and already sh shared a couple uh, written posts. Uh, and this is, this is my first video post. I used to, I used to preach in uh, churches for a few years and I'm led, to, led by God's call to do something outside of the four walls of the church. So we're going to do some things that, uh, about this outdoors when we're out and about and the the, the Christian points in, in it so uh, today's post is uh, uh, on the 4th of July happy Independence Day to everyone out there uh, and uh, it's a perfect perfect time to start because uh, I'll explain why as we go but uh, I have a question as I start I have a question for you does England have a 4th of July you think about that for a second and and come up with a yes or no answer and uh, you're probably thinking uh, no they don't and the answer is the answer is yes they do every country has a fourth of july it falls right after the third of july and right before the fifth of july uh, but what what um, what we're talking about in our holiday is independence day uh, it's the day that our, our nation's birthday the day that we were born the day that we declared that we are independent from Britain and uh, one of the things that you see on Independence Day celebrations are fireworks and I love fireworks from the time I was a little kid my parents would take me to watch fireworks and they said I would sit there and they would go off and they'd stop for a minute and they'd go yay more lights and I don't remember that but I but enough people have told me that that I believe it's true and I still love to go I've, I've been I've I've clumbed by foot and four-wheel drive Jeep CJ5 to the top of mountains to watch them from above uh, I've watched them from boats on Lake Raystown, uh, near, far. I never put them off, but I watched them close by, except for little sparklers and stuff and Roman candles. But we love good fireworks, and uh, my wife and I were at the Martinsburg Carnival Friday night, and uh, my wife loves uh, the Ferris wheel, so uh, she had me on a Ferris wheel. I'd have much rather been on a roller co on a steel roller coaster doing loops, but uh, and, and Martinsburg's Ferris wheel is about as high up as you can get. Uh, in, in one red light town. So uh, as we were on the Ferris wheel, fireworks started and we could see fireworks through the trees and 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 uh, it was an interesting Ferris wheel ride. We had uh, we had a tree on it. Put the Ferris wheel right beside the tree. And as you go around, the one tree limb would bang off all the little rungs, and uh, it kind of reminded me of bicycles when putting your baseball cards in bicycles that we had as kids. Uh, so there was a little bit of adventure with it, but the fireworks were the big thing. And when we got uh, we got off the the Ferris wheel, we walked through the crowd and over to the edge of the edge of the grass, and we're able to see them right there. We could see them launch, and the launchers putting them off. And everything uh, and uh, it's just a, it's just a reason why we celebrate with uh, Independence Day with fireworks uh, in the Star Spangled Banner the, the, the line is bombs bursting in air and uh, I love that burst that the bang and the explosive colors and not knowing what colors are going to come out and those the mixture of colors and some of the sounds that go with it and and so I, I love that but um, it reminds us that uh, our freedom didn't come free and we take that for granted in this country and I want to take a moment and thank all the veterans who served and fought in wars to establish uh, our freedom and maintain our freedom uh, starting with the Revolutionary War over 200 years ago uh, and uh, so, so thank you for your service and uh, there's one other freedom that we have that, that didn't come free as Christians uh, we are, uh, you're like me, you're not perfect, you're a sinner, you're saved by, you have the opportunity to be saved by, uh, by Jesus Christ's blood. And, uh, and so uh, the fireworks that, of the bombs and bursting in air that, uh, that, that made this nation free, uh, what made us free as Christian individual people is, is Jesus dying for us. And so the, 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 there weren't bombs bursting in air, but there were, there were Roman hammers pounding driving spikes like railroad spikes they call them nails but they're more like railroad spikes into his wrists and his his uh, ankles we call them hands and feet but the way he had to hang on a cross that had been through the wrists and through the ankles uh and you know the, the red the red coming down off of his head from the crown of thorns that they jammed into his head that he he let them do because he was taking our our punishment for our sins on him and uh, of course the spear that they thrust into his into his side at the end and so uh 
And so my, my prayer for you in this short little Independence Day message is that, uh, is that you accept Jesus' free gift of, of independence from sin and become uh, guiltless, shameless, blameless in God's eyes uh, through accepting Jesus' free gift. And if you've already received that, I hope that you take a moment and, and just appreciate how, uh, how, how, how valuable that is and what Jesus actually did for us. And, uh, so that's my message for the first post. There'll be uh, other ones from time to time, and uh, uh, I hope you like it. And I hope uh, I hope you'll forward it and share it and share this message and uh, this post and future ones to come. So uh, always remember, there's adventure out there, and God's out there in the adventure.